I love burritos! What's going on, hashtag Burritos Nation? Chipot Rainbow War here with number 57 of WWE Supercard. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys this pretty kitty Paisley. Um, you guys saw at the beginning of this episode, I got myself a monster doll from a King of the Ring um, elimination, which is six. So that is one monster doll away from finishing the monster doll from the catalog. So that's pretty cool. I like to collect the Dolph Zigglers, if you didn't know, for those of you that are new to the channel. Uh, and, and yeah, man, we're going to be getting ourselves um, a Team Balagrom pack, which maybe we'll get lucky and get ourselves a Titan. That'll be pretty sick, bro. I really, really like that indeed. And also, I'm going to be showing you guys, I got... Five tights and pools. Five tights and pools. This is across about like a week or so, week and a half. Um, but I've been waiting off so I can show you guys all five in the video and stuff like that. And I actually got like one today. So that was the fifth one. I wanted to get up to five and that's cool beans. Also, we can talk about the Royal Rumble match also. Um, I wasn't too fond of most of Royal Rumble, I'll admit. I, I was really, really excited about the... Um, I really, really loved the NXT TakeOver Philadelphia. It was great. Johnny Gargano had a fantastic match. With Andrade seeing Almas, uh, who was actually in the Rumble. You guys are going to hear some spoilers here, so if you don't want to watch, then I understand. Um, but yeah, man, we're going to go ahead and train up a little bit some here. I'm going to show you guys what I got for my pulls so I can remember all five of them, actually. Um, but here we go. We got five Titan pulls. Let's see if I remember who they actually are. Um, I got myself a... Adam Cole, bye bye. Adam Cole off the board, which is really really cool. Really really like Adam Cole. Really excited that he was in the Royal Rumble tonight. I know that he's not gonna be fully on um, Raw or SmackDown yet, but I, I really like it when they show off some of the NXT talent in the Royal Rumble. Um, and then my second pull was in fact, unfortunately, really super duper trash. I got a trash can. I was so upset about it. I was like, come on, bro, you're really gonna do this to me? You're gonna do some trash stuff to me right now? And that was really, really unfortunate. Uh, and then my third pull, one of my favorite wrestlers. All these are singles, by the way, unfortunately, but still cool pulls. Baron Corbin, the end of days, which unfortunately he was in, he was eliminated really, really early in this rumble. Where last year he eliminated Braun Strowman, actually. So it was pretty different this year where he got eliminated really, really early. But he did make an impact by attacking a lot of wrestlers after the match. And... <laughs> When he attacked Heath Slater, just started a lot of guys going after Heath after that, which was pretty hilarious. Um, the fourth pull I got was, in fact, the winner of the Royal Rumble, Shinsuke Nakamura. I'm not a big Royal Rumble or a big Shinsuke Nakamura fan, but I know he's a great wrestler. Unfortunately, I don't really like his character along with Austin's either. It's just, I mean, you can't talk very much in the microphone and you just, I don't know, a lot of just hand movements and stuff like that. I'm just not the biggest fan of that, but... I gotta admit, they are great wrestlers, though. And then my fifth one I got today was Nikki Cross. So I got a female pool, not a pro, but still really, really excited about that and stuff. But anyways, let's go and talk about some of the, the, the matches in Royal Rumble and why I was not too happy with them. Uh, we'll talk about the AJ Styles versus, um, versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens match. Okay, very good match. Very, it was, a, dare I say, really, very good, really, really good, stuff like that, I just said very good, really good, pretty much the same thing, we'll play a war match while we're talking, um, unfortunately though, it's ended up with a screw job, where we have, uh, Sami Zayn didn't even tag in Kevin Owens, but Kevin Owens is the one that got pinned, which is kind of stupid, so, and then they went ahead and complained to Shane McMahon. And instead of Shane lying about it, saying I didn't know about it, he actually admitted to seeing it, that it happened. And he actually wasn't going to do anything about it. So that's kind of stupid. We'll, we'll probably have something done about it on SmackDown Live because actually Daniel Bryan usually is the voice of reason when those guys get screwed over. And But yeah, man, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. But that's not the worst of the stuff that happened in Royal Rumble. Also, we had... A decent match where we had the two out of three falls match for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships with the Usos of Painter Towels against Shelton Benjamin, Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable, which unfortunately um, didn't go to three falls, which is not too, it's not bad. But what I'm upset about is that unfortunately it ended in a roll-up pin. I, I, I just, I don't like it when, when you gotta have matches end on a roll-up pin. Uh, when it's a championship match, it's okay. In other matches, like when you're Raw and SmackDown, but when you're in a pay-per-view match, you don't want to have a championship match. Any match, let alone the championship match, 
and on a roll up pen, which is just it's just kind of stupid to me in my opinion. Um, but yeah, the Raw Tag Team Championships match. So I was really excited about this match. I knew that there would be some type of controversy because there always is with uh, not the best of tag teams with Jason Jordan and Seth Rollins. I like their tag team. I like both of the guys, but I know that they're not built to be together as a tag team. Um, but Seth Rollins, of course, he had the Royal Rumble beforehand, so he, about 20 minutes in there. So he had to be tired out of his mind. Um, I actually was looking away for a while, looking at my phone through Twitter a little bit when I, when apparently Jason Jordan got injured, and he's just he's out the whole match. He finally tags in. He's like, oh, I can't do this. My head hurts. Tagged out again. I really like Jordan, too. Seth Rollins is one of my favorites, though, so I was kind of upset that he had to wrestle the whole entire match. So basically, that turned into a handicap match as well. So that's what I don't like. I didn't like that that ended up in a handicap match. So, so far, we got ourselves a match where a guy was not legal got pinned. We got a roll-up pin, and we got a match that was the tag team championship match turning into a handicap match. So yeah, <laughs> we got the men's Royal Rumble match next, um, and I'll probably miss, there's probably someone somewhere else in there that I, I can't remember some other matches. Um, but the men's Royal Rumble match, I was not too fond of it. There was some big pops there that I really, really did like. I like that we had the NXT champion in Andrade Almas. Um, their Odyssey and Almas was a really big hype thing to have him in there. I was really excited about that. I wanted to see Aleister Black, but we got some good uh, things in there. We also got Adam Cole, bye -bye, which was pretty sick as well. So I liked seeing him in there as well. I was really excited about that. And um, uh, Rey Mysterio came back. I don't know if this will be a full-time thing, but I really, really, really hope that it is. So those were the really, really cool things about the Royal Rumble. Um... And then we'll get into this. This isn't the biggest reason why I was upset about the Royal Rumble match, but of course you know I'm a Dolph Ziggler fan. Unfortunately, WWE Creative, just being classical WWE Creative, it just they, they never can do anything right with Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> the dude, anytime you think he has an interesting storyline going on with him, they just have to screw it up some way, somehow. They'll, they'll find a way, man. They have him away for a few weeks, almost a month, if, if not a month, and he's just... They, they bring back in the Royal Rumble, number 30, hype it up, man. And then he, he, he gets in there, super kick, super kick, super kick. And eliminates Gold Dust with the super kick, but he's still only in there for about three minutes. I mean, sure, of course, you know, I want him to win the Royal Rumble, but I'm realistic. They don't want to push it off to that point, really. If they did, that'd be great. Um, they could have had him in a lot longer than, than what they did. <laughs> they could have had him in a lot longer than some of the other guys that were in there. Um, I also feel like this is the biggest reason right here that I didn't enjoy the men's Royal Rumble as much, especially towards the end. I feel like they booked it wrong where the last guys are in the end. I feel like they, they just, John Cena and Roman Reigns should not be two of the last guys in there. Uh, uh, may, you guys can disagree with, with anything that you guys want to have. Uh, it's okay for all of us to have our different opinions, but... There was a period of time, which this is the time in the Royal Rumble match that should not be like this, where the la there was about like three or four minutes, at least three minutes of complete, like basically silence and just, where, where they're just all like, dude, we don't want this. There's, there's Shinsuke Nakamura, there's Finn Balor, and there's Cena and Reigns, and there was like about three minutes of silence because people are like, boo, and stuff like that, because they got Cena and Reigns as one of the last couple of guys, which is pretty stupid in my opinion and just of course it ended with a good note because we had Nakamura win but of course and I know that people are going to cheer for Nakamura anyways because he's a big fan favorite for a lot of people but you you know you're going to cheer for Nakamura when it's him and Cena and Reigns as the last guys they would have cheered for anyone it's just I feel it was bad booking to have Reigns and Cena as <laughs> some of the last guys I'm, 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 I'm just kidding saying I don't know why I said the word kidding I don't know I'm just kind of worked up and then we got ourselves the Universal Championship match. I'm hoping at this, I was hoping at this point this would make me all hyped up because I knew there would be some crazy slamming and stuff like this. Very, very good match for, you know, how long it was. Um, just the unfortunate mishap of guys that just don't have the stamina enough to go long, like Kane and especially Mr. Brock Lesnar, the reign defending Universal Champion, Undisputed Champion of the World. So, that match was very, very short, unfortunately, which is why I didn't like that match as much. So, I'm being a big-time Debbie Downer. You probably are thinking at this point in this episode, but don't worry. Don't worry. It ends on a good note. The whole entire men's roster is completely redeemed. 
by the women's roster in the first ever women's Royal Rumble match. And and, and I'm totally fine. You guys put your um Tom, your thoughts in the comments below if you disagree or agree with some of the stuff I'm saying. Uh, the women's Royal Rumble match was awesome. Um, them, them only being about like 18 so, ma like main roster uh, superstars, and then they had to do some NXT talent along with the... Um, the, the 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 former talent. I liked how they had Molly Holly, a former women's champion and hardcore champion. We had um, Tori Wilson, Kelly Kelly Kelly, <laughs> like Santina Morella. Uh, I, I thought they were gonna have seen Santina Morella. That would have been hilarious. Or James Ellsworth. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but then we also had we had of course my favorite was was number. 30? Yeah, number 30. Uh, Trish Stratus, my favorite female wrestler of all time. It's just, and we had Kyrie Sane had a very, very good outing. Ember Moon, very excited. NXT, both NXT champions were in that match. And that was just in both of the Royal Rumbles. I just, the women's match was phenomenal. And it's just like, of course, I'm not a big Oscar fan, but it was just a great match and a very great showing of the first ever women's Royal Rumble. I really, really enjoyed it a lot. And um, just to top things off, at the very end, when we got the women's, two women's champions, Raw women's champion Alexa Bliss, along with SmackDown's women's champion, uh, Shalatata. And then we got right in the middle, we got Asta with her music going on. Going, going, going on. She's doing her little thing, and then she looks over, looking at both champions. Who's she going to pick, guys? Who's she going to pick? All of a sudden, you hear the music. You hear the music of... Rowdy, Ronda, Rousey, babies, which was pretty darn sick. And we got Ronda Rousey, and it broke on Twitter and the news sports center that Ronda Rousey is not only going to be in wrestling, but a full-time contract. Now, are they going to actually legit have her wrestle a lot, or just like at pay-per-views? I, I, that's for us to see. <laughs> but I really hope that she's going to be wrestling a lot. I'm really excited about it. She is already, just by the fact that I know she's been in the wrestling business now with WWE, she's automatically my favorite female wrestler. She's one of my, she's my favorite female athlete, like, of, when it comes to, you know, fighting, wrestling, all that stuff. I'm just super excited to have her there. And just the females women's rumble match made the pay-per-view a lot better for me. And the matches weren't horrible on the men's side. It's just, there was a lot of endings and... The little things I saw in the matches that weren't the greatest. But the women's Royal Rumble match was fantastic. But anyways, I usually don't talk this much about the actual wrestling. But I, I'm, I'm just, I, I'm really excited about Rowdy, 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 Ronda Rousey. I can't talk, I'm sorry guys. But anyways, we're going to get this reward here. Uh, we're probably going to get some trash, but it's all good in the neighborhood. We had fun talking, I had fun talking about Royal Rumble this episode. And we get three months, no, two monsters and a beast card. What do we get? Give me Dolph Ziggler's would be great. We got up to 50 um, battle points, which is cool beans. Alexa Bliss. And oh, yeah, the tower of power is too sweet to be sour. Funky like a monkey. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, it's a WWE Championship as well. But, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this episode of me rambling on, talking about Royal Rumble, hopefully I didn't spoil too much for those of you that haven't seen it yet. Um, and then let me know in the comments below. Like, 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 comment, comment, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And um, if you guys um, finished your Road to Glory, also, um, like my five Titan pulls and my CBG pack that I did not get a Titan from, unfortunately, but it's all good in the neighborhood. Anyways, love you guys so much, and I'll see all of y'all. Hashtag Breeders Nation. Later. We don't want no ham and cheese. We just want burritos, please. Yeah. I just noticed I can't turn off the video unless I put my belt down to actually press the thing. But you want to know a secret?